Okay, let's go to create new and just click on flash file action script three. And let's see, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to window properties and then go to the first option right here. And I'll change the size of my document to 1280 by 720. So we at least have HD and I'll hit okay. Now I'll just click on the canvas once, hold down the space bar and click and drag to move my canvas to the center of the screen here. All right, so actually I'm gonna leave this properties window up right here. I'm gonna choose my paintbrush and make sure that my fill color right here is set to black. And I'm just going to draw a line for the ground at the bottom of the canvas here. Now that line looks pretty thin, so I'm gonna change my brush size here. There we go. So I'll double click on layer one right here and just call this ground and then press return. And then I'm gonna lock that layer. All right, now I'm gonna create a new layer. So I'll go right here to insert layer. I'll double click on this and I'm gonna call this boards. And for this, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna use this rectangular uh, rectangle tool right here. And I'm gonna change the fill color to this brown right here. I'll leave the line color at black and the stroke size right here is just gonna be three, approximately three. So I'll just take this rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw a very skinny rectangle. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit Command Plus to zoom in on this. Now I'm gonna take my paintbrush right here and I'll switch my fill color to black and I'm just gonna paint in a little nail here at the end of this board that we're creating. All right, so I'll hit Command minus, zoom out here. And I think I'm gonna take my free transform tool and just select this and scale it in a little bit. Get a little bit shorter. All right, I'm gonna select everything on this and go up to modify and then go to group. All right, and now, um, I'm gonna just go to edit and then copy and then edit, paste and center. And then what I, what I wanna do is I wanna just flip this to the other side. So I've got my free transform tool up right here. I'm just gonna click on this side and drag it to the other side to flip it. I'm gonna move the pivot point to the top right corner of that object and I'll click on this one over here move the pivot point to the top left corner of this drawing right here. So now I'm going to take this board right here and just place it here and then I'll rotate it down slightly I want it to be beneath the ground I'll rotate this one down a little bit so we can just see those and let me just select this and I'll use the arrows on the keyboard to move it up slightly. Okay. So now I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, let's see. I think we can close our properties for now. So I'll go right here to insert layer and I'll double click on this and we're going to call this bowling ball. And I'm gonna choose my fill color. I'm gonna have a, let's say, blue bowling ball. And I will take my rectangle tool and switch to the oval tool. And then I'm going to hold down shift and then click and drag to set the size of my bowling ball here. That fill color is a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna go here and choose a lighter blue color. Something like that maybe. And I'll just draw this again, holding down shift to make sure I have a perfect circle here. All right, now I'm gonna change my fill color to black 
and I'm going to hit Command Plus to zoom in here. And I'll just draw some smaller circles. finish out the bowling ball here. All right, I'll hit Command minus and move my canvas up a little bit. So I'm just going to take my selection tool here, select everything, and let's go to modify and then group. And I'm just going to move this up a little bit higher. All right. So let's say I'm going to just estimate we're going to go 12 frames on this animation. So I'm going to right click and go to insert keyframe. And I'll go to the boards layer here, right click, insert keyframe. And then on the ground, right click, insert keyframe. All right, so I'm going to go to frame two right here. And I'll just insert a new keyframe here on frame two for the bowling ball layer. And I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to just move this down a little bit. Now I will turn on my onion skin so I can see the previous drawing. And then I'll go to frame three, right click, insert keyframe. And I'll use the arrows on my keyboard and move this down even further. I'll go to frame four, right click, insert keyframe. And I'm going to continue to move this down. And I want to be able to see all my frames, so I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to move this down some more. All right, I'm going to go to frame six, or I'm sorry, frame five. Right click, insert keyframe, and bring it down further. And then I'm going to go to frame six, right click, insert keyframe, and I'm going to bring this down all the way to the bottom so that it's touching the ground right there. Frame seven, I'll right click, insert keyframe, and this time the ball is going to sink into the floor. And so this is where actually I'll go to the boards layer and I'll move this over. Ooh, I got both of them selected here, so I'm just going to select one of them and move that over. Okay. Turn off my onion skin. So I'm going to take the keyframe on frame one. I'm going to right click and go to copy frames. And then I'll go to frame 12, click on that frame, right click, and go to paste frames. I want that frame, the position for the boards to be the same on frame 1 as they are on frame 12. So now I'm going to go to frame 7 right here. And when this goes into the ground, we're going to want to key a new position for the board. So I'll right click, insert that keyframe, and I'll switch to my transform, free transform right here. Let's do one of these at a time. So I'll just move my mouse till I have this circular arrow, and I'll just bring this up. Same with this one on this side. I'll bring that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in, so I'll hit Command Plus, and that's frame 7, so let's go to frame 8, so I'm going to right click, insert keyframe, and I'll move these boards one at a time, okay. So that's frame eight. Frame nine, I'm going to insert a new keyframe here. 
And I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to rotate it back down a little bit. Same for this. Bring it back. We're going to make a little wobble for this. So then we'll go to frame 10, right click, insert keyframe, and then we'll go back up here a little bit on either side. And then on frame 11, I'll right click, insert keyframe, and we'll bring these back down. And then I'm going to copy this, copy frames, and then I'll go to frame 11 right here. I'll right click and go to paste frames. And then I'll copy the frame on frame 7 for the bowling ball. Right click, copy frames, and then I'll go to frame 12. Right click and go to paste frames. So now, I'm going to hit Command minus, and let's take a look at what we have here. So I'm going to hit Return on the keyboard. And now, I think we just need to create something to go right along here. So actually, let's take the ground layer and move it to the top. And then let's take our flood fill and we'll go white on both the fill color and the stroke color. And let's change our tool from oval tool to rectangle tool. Let's create a new layer. I'll insert a new layer, double click, and we'll just call this ground two. And then just click and drag and fill this in with white. And then I'll lock the, both the ground layers. And let's play this again. So there we have it. We have a bowling ball falling down to the ground and breaking through the floor. So that's the end of the exercise. Make sure that you save this to your flash exercise files and don't forget to send that file also to the Dropbox.